what's going on it's GH games here with another basics tutorial uh, today we're not doing a my basics we're doing a unreal 4 specific basic tutorial and um, this one is very very it's one that I had uh, trouble with uh, when I was creating stuff when I was in university I always wanted to get a nighttime scene like a nice ambient nighttime scene and I didn't know how to do it so I did a uh, a lot of testing, a lot of uh, forums and stuff, and this one's like the most basic, simple way to get a nighttime scene. So let's launch our Unreal Engine. Let's get this up. And by the way, just while this is getting up, thank you to everybody who, you know, I, every subscriber and every single view and every single comment means the world to me. Um, if you like to comment on this and tell me where I'm going wrong or tell me where I'm going right feel free do it I mean I'll I'll respond when I can and I'll try and get more uploads on but for now we're, let's um, let's get a new project up let's just get a blank uh, a blank project in the blueprints let's make sure start cam sense on even though we don't even need it might as well just keep it on uh, maximum quality and make sure you save it to a folder where you can find it or where your work where your workflow is and I'm going to call this um, apparently nothing. Nice, simple, nice scene. Tut. King tut. And let's open. Okay. So this is going to be a, a very, very simple, very, very, very simple night scene. So if you're building something and you're like, holy hell why is the sun not going away well this will um, make the sun piss off let's delete all this uh, star content bollocks let's get rid of that as well let's just quickly uh, alt and shift these into place pressing alt and shift on your keyboard make sure these are all nice and aligned fantastic Okay, first thing you need to do is locate two things. You need your directional light and you also need your sky blueprint. So here's the sky blueprint. It's in the world outliner here. You can see it, sky blueprint. Um, we'll get rid of that. And we also need the light source. So what we'll do is uh, we'll move it to the root of the editor. And we'll just close all these folders up because we don't actually need them. Okay, so we've got these two. These are the only two things you need. So let's select the light source first. Here's the light source. And let's press hold, let's press E, which will go into your rotation. And we'll just rotate it all the way up to 180 or 170. Make sure it's just, make sure it's just, you know. fantastic and that's all you need for the uh, light source so let's go and click on the sky sphere and the sky sphere is the sky box where the beautiful sun and sky and clouds are and here is the detailed outliner for it as we can see and this is all we need so we're going to uncheck colors determined that goes off and next step is the sun brightness and obviously if it's nighttime scene there's not going to be any sun so we're going to set that to zero. Cloud speed can stay the same. Cloud opacity, I'm not going to see on it, any of that. Stars brightness, we're going to see loads of stars out there. Hopefully, well, you can you can decide how many stars we want, but I want it to be a very very starry night. So I'm going to set that to about 50. Now a very very low starry night, you know, about 10, 15. You know, if it's the city center, obviously it's going to be a lot lot less because of the light pollution. So maybe a five. But let's say we're in the middle of nowhere. Let's set it to 50. Okay. So then we need to go into our colors. Zenith color. Let's set this to a, like a, a grayish horizon color. And we'll see how the distance is. Let's set that to like a bluey color. Cloud color. Again, that's all nighttime scenes. So let's set this. You know, it, it, again, if you're going, if you're going for like a city, you would maybe 
put it to like a like an orange or like a deep orange color because of the light pollution and the overall color of the entire scene again would be quite a a dark dark environment i mean these are just random colors and the last thing we need to do so wait sure all these are checked let's go into build lighting only we don't need to build any geometry because we haven't pissed around with any geometry really um but let's just build let's build all of it because we might as well and we wait okay lighting's built let's cross this off there's no errors fantastic and that is it that's your night time scene you can change that how you want but that's very very basic night time scene and there's all the nice stars in the sky obviously you can optimize this however you please you can put it to five so there's very little stars you know you can change all of these colors you can make sure it's you know it could be a drill dark shit night you know uh, let's make this even blacker let's make the overall color even even darker like that let's make sure the light source intensity let's make that like 0 0.5 why not and let's just build it again so you can change you can optimize this how you want you know you can but you know if, you, if you're stuck for time and you just want to build something get something done you want it to be a nighttime scene you can i mean that's all you need to do there you go there's a grim dark night you can add a light in there by just holding l nice little point light and there you go done okay that's that's your basic nighttime scene make sure you save that out and you are done save all Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching this quick little tutorial. I've got loads more planned, loads more written down. Next tutorial, I'm going to go even more in depth on the nighttime scene, but this time I'm going to do a rotation sun moon cycle, so a typical day. Make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you again, guys, for watching. If you do watch, you know, make sure to give me a nice little thumbs up and sub if you want more content. Peace out.